Now I'm going to talk about CarPlay and Android Auto with the device. As I mentioned, there is a button right here. And if you look closely, you'll see that it's green right now. It is set for Apple CarPlay out of the box. But if you take a paper clip and hold that button down for about two or three seconds, you'll get a prompt on the screen that lets you know if you want to switch between CarPlay and Android Auto. And if you accept that, this light will change from green to blue to indicate Android Auto capability. And then the box will reboot and you'll be able to use Android instead of CarPlay. So it's a little bit of a hassle to switch between them, but you can do that. In my experience, I found that the Android Auto does not take up the full screen. And also the CarPlay, when I tried to use it, it didn't work at all. So I would suggest if you want to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto just to use the CarLink kit by itself, disconnect that AI box because then it's just one less thing in the way. But for the most part, I just use the AI box by itself as an independent device and don't use CarPlay at all at this point. Now, this may have something to do with the firmware version on here. I'll verify and update in a future video to let you know if the Android Auto and the Apple CarPlay work better with this device. I think it has something to do with the Auto Kit on the dongle is prepped to use the car's screen and the one for the AI box is not. So just to let you know that the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay is best to use the included CarLink kit dongle that came with 2.6.